Morning everybody. It's uh, it's Friday, it's a beautiful day in Oregon and it's a great day to be out working on your home build. So today what we got working on, pretty excited about. We got another uh, uh, load, a tandem truckload of rock for our little driveway extension. Um, last, last week we decided to extend that out another 24 feet and I'm already super happy with it, as you can see. That little bit, the the 16 feet or 12 feet or so, just wasn't enough, you know, to to be able to back a truck or a car or a van or uh, down and uh, and then pull out of the driveway. So uh, we decided that we were going to radius this little bit right here, which that also meant uh, I need to extend these two lines. There's two lines under here and I need to extend them. Uh, I shoved a hose through one. One was great and clear. The other, somewhere underneath here, it's clogged. So uh, either I'm gonna have to dig it up, it's kind of a sad deal, uh, or I'm gonna have to abandon it and go a different route uh, all the way around the long way. I'd rather not go the long way. I'd rather not dig this up, but uh, I think uh, if I can't get the hose through, then that means I can't get a uh, either a water line or a uh, gas line through that sleeve. So that means that would inevitably mean I'd have to uh, take it up, fix it, and then put it back. So things that that's that's something I might end up having to work on today. I'm gonna run a pipe through again, uh, or my hose through again. And if just I can't get it through, then that's just what it's gonna have to be. Um, when I was uh, backfilling this, I just put dirt back into it and it was kind of clay and smashing it in. And I think I just smashed the pipe is what happened. This other sleeve that I got here for the sewer line, I know it's good because I backfilled it with rock, which the rock goes around the pipe a little easier and keeps that pipe from crushing, so. Got the lots to do. I'm excited to get started and I'm excited for you to be along with me. So if you like my pages, make sure you subscribe. Click the subscribe button. Kind of lets me know that you're liking it. And uh, please also make comments. If there's something you think that I can do better, I'm always up for learning and that sort of thing. So uh, I do look at those. So. And then, uh, and then, of course, like it. Just like, if anything, uh, if you like the videos. So, um, kind of an amateur. I'm just wanting to show you what I'm doing, document everything, and uh, have you along for the ride. So, let me know if you if you like what you see. Thanks. So I was able to get the, the hose through, and which I'm pretty excited about because I really don't want to tear that up. And so I'm going to connect this uh, four inch sleeve pipe through to the, these other two pipes. As you can hopefully see right here, uh, one's going to be for gas and one's going to be for water. They're buried a uh, minimum of 24 inches. Uh, to the top of the pipe to the surface <clears throat> so you can see them right there I'm gonna connect into those and it's not a really a hard connection it's just pressed on because that's all it is is a sleeve so I'm gonna cut those to length put that down then I'm gonna take some of this three inch minus scoop that up dump it in there so I can just make sure that uh, they don't smash and then, uh, then I'll probably backfill it with some of this regular old dirt tamp it down <clears throat> and then uh, put fabric over this corner and then bring some of this three inch minus and make a nice little beautiful radius so so when we're backing out we're not just driving over the grass every time because a square 90 degree corner uh, it just makes it hard to back up so all right here we go 
see how I do it. You measure the length that I need, and then you got to make sure you put a stake at the end of it. So, just like I did on this this group here, that way you know where to dig. Feet. Glad I bought two because they're ten footers. Think about just getting one. Nine feet. One wouldn't have done it. Gotta grab a grab a pen. Gotta grab all your tools before you get started. For a new tape measure here in Oregon, we got wet conditions at times, and it's real hard on our tape measures to tell you what, especially the mud, the clay, and that sort of thing. And then I just take a you can use a hacksaw, you can use a sawzall, or in this case. Skill saw. Pretty square. Did have to use some of it. Now this pipe at the end is a little bit distorted because it was smashed, so I'm gonna do my best to spread it out like that. Conform to it. Same thing with this one. This one's even worse. Now I'm going to take the end of my shovel, I'm going to dig it in, and I'm going to use it as a lever to help try to get it on. A little bit more. That one's there. And that one's there. Just measure, make sure I'm where my top of my soil is gonna be is about 24 inches. Right now, I need to go down a few more inches, so I'm gonna slide this to the side just a little bit. Get my feet out of the way. This one is pretty expensive to rent if you want. Good thing I own it. It's the kind of humor I have. Go 
was in Cody land. I think he'd appreciate that D1 reference. He's got his own business in uh, Morning, California. gets to play with big toys all the time. <clears throat> Me, I gotta build a house in order to do that. So, if you're ever in uh, born in California and you're in need of a somebody doing some excav excavating work for you, call up the lambs. L-A-M-B. Do a good job for you. My Martillo, my hammer. It, uh, it also does a great job of digging. Digging as well. grade is going to be right at 24 inches of course this isn't natural grade it's going to be asphalt three inches it's going to be another four inches of uh, three quarter minus so it's going to be good now I'm, now I'm going to just speed up the process just like that 